hello friends and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about the types of aerodynamic drags that is acting on a road car so let's start we will start from the first and the main one which contributes to 60 percent of the total drag it is called as the pressure drag or foam drag it is generated due to the resistive force that is created by air molecules that is getting strikes in front of the vehicle or in the projector frontal area the high velocity air molecules that is flowing around the car will get strike in the car body and the velocity will get declined and it will contribute to a force that is resisting the motion of the car and it is called as foam drag or pressure drag because it is the air pressure that is resisting the car motion the foam drag is mainly generated in front of the vehicle's air dam and in the beginning of windshield the flow through the hood vent will help to reduce the foam drag in the windshield position and the flow you can see in this figure. The second type of drag is the induced drag. The induced drag is also called as lift drag. It is due to the relative pressure difference between the top and bottom of the car. If the pressure underneath the car is higher, the induced drag will be more. The car will lose traction and the car will start to fly from the ground and we will have less handling and the car won't provide better performance. Induced drag contributes about 8 to 15 percent of the total drag and foam drag contributes to more than 60 percent. The third type of and main drag is the skin friction drag. As the name implies, skin friction drag is generated due to the flow of air molecules over the car or through the body of the car which reduces the velocity of the air molecules that is flowing around the car. It is because of the boundary layer effect that is generating in the body or the skin of the vehicle. Skin friction drag have an effect more than of 15% in case of buses and heavy trucks because of the exposed area. But in case of cars and bikes, the value of skin friction drag is comparatively low. This fourth type of aerodynamic drag is the interference drag. The interference drag is generated due to the exposed components in the car body such as the outside rear view mirror. If the ORVM is not designed effectively or it is not that much, aerodynamic it will contribute to higher drag forces in the vehicle which will eventually affect the performance of the vehicle reducing the mileage top speed acceleration etc so we have to design these exposed parts more aerodynamically to reduce the overall drag option as well as reducing the force of drag let's discuss the fifth and last aerodynamic drag type which is the cooling and ventilation drag the cooling and ventilation drag contribute to about five to eight percent of total drag we know for an internal combustion engine vehicle we have turbo intercoolers radiators and condensers for ac so we have to expose them for better heat transfer in addition to this we need to provide the brake cooling system for the effective performance of the braking system used in our work but it also increase the drag overall drag of the vehicle so for achieving the greater speed we have to reduce the drag force by reducing the cooling and ventilation drag for doing this we have to close these grills of the vehicle that's why Porsche nylon have this active aerodynamic system for reducing the cooling and ventilation drag for achieving greater acceleration and top speed of their supercar and these are the five types of aerodynamic drags let's summarize first is the pressure or foam drag second one is the induced or lift drag the third one is the skin friction drag the fourth one is the cooling and ventilation drag and the final one is the interference drag so if you will learn something new in this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when i make a new upload thank you for watching and have a nice day and bye